Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Mendeley to Google Docs in 2024. So today we're delving into a game changing integration for seamless integration or seamless academic writing integration, which is how to connect Mendeley to Google Docs in 2023. So if you're ready to revolutionize your research paper or thesis writing process, stick around and I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of connecting Mendeley to Google Docs. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial subset. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. So let's start by ensuring that you have the Mendeley installed and configured into your computer. If not, just go to this URL section and basically type Mendeley, hit the enter button, and make sure to go, of course, uh, so I did not write an L, just go to the first link and make sure, of course, to click on download to download it into your PC. Of course, that if you have an account, if you have an account, uh, just go. If you don't, go and create a new account, then, of course, click on download to download it. So you'll be able to download it on your Windows right away by simply go and click on here and download it wherever you want. Once the download is ended, you will have to install it. So it will take 10 to 9 uh, minutes, uh, seconds, of course. So let's just wait. Of course, you can even download this, as you can see here on Mac or even for Linux through those two options. So click on it and you'll be able to, down to download this on whatever like you're using. So for me, it's downloaded in here. It's done. So it should become like this soon. Yeah, as you can see, it is right now. So just go and I'll double click on that. And as you can see, you can download this for only for you or all users. So click on install. This, of course, if you are not, if you don't have it yet, if you do, that's already cool. If not, you are downloading it. As you can see, you can see how to download it right away. So, as you can see in here, if it's downloaded, you will find something like this if you just open it up. What you'll need to do is simply go and log in into your account right away. And you can even sign in via your organization. That's if you have an account. If you don't, you'll have to go and create an account but not in here, you'll have to go and create an account in Mendeley right here. So just start by, as an example, creating your account. Because in here, as an example, we'll have just to log in, or you can even let's just try to create an account in here right away because it seems like it's the same page. Normally, you should create your account before even going in here, but it's fine. It seems like... Uh, I'll just leave it the same password and I'll let it like that. That's recommended for sh shared. Yes, yeah, stayed. Say like sign in, click on register, and this should be cool. So now you have an account. So click on continue. And yeah, as you can see, now we are logged in into our account with our Mendeley uh, like uh, app already downloaded into our PC. So once it's uh, uh, installed, you'll have, of course, go back to your uh, browser and just go and open your Google Docs by typing docs.google.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen, main screen of Google Docs. If you're downloaded or sorry, if you're logged in into your account, just log in. Into, uh, if you're logged in, you'll find something like that. If you're not logged in, you'll have to log in at your account. It's, you should use your Google account. If you don't have one, just go and create one. It should not take from you a lot of time. Now, once you have your Google Docs ready and Mendeley ready, what you will have to do is simply go and open your Google Docs document. So open the document where you want to insert citations from your Mendeley library. And the Mendeley, of course, sites add on seamlessly integrate with Google Docs, uh, making your citation process efficient. So let's say it's this document for me. Let's just even remove all of that. Let's even remove this picture. So in here, as an example, you will have, or with the like Mendeley sites add-on open, of course, you will have, or you can now start inserting citation. You can search for like your Mendeley library, select the reference that you want to cite and click insert citation. The add-on will automatically generate the citation in your chosen citation style. Of course, you can even, like an example, look for an extension for it. Uh, there is some, if you want to keep using everything on the web. So, uh, extension, so just type it like that, even if it's wrong. Let's just go here and here. Let's just look for Mendeley. 
in delay and as you can see we have here even the the extension is given by Mendeley. So just go and add it to your Brave if you want to use everything in the browser. And as you can see, it will be fast, convenient, imports of reference and PDFs to your Mendeley references manager library. So to here as an example. So you will be, of course, to use everything that you have here in your library, of course, in your Google Docs right here without any problem. And of course, if you like need uh, a bibliography mentally even makes it a breeze you can navigate as an example in here at the end of the your documents and click on insert like of course this is going to be on, on google docs you can insert like your bibliography and the mentally site add-on and watch as your bi uh, biography is magically generated and whether you're following APA, MLA, Chicago, or other citation style, Mendeley has you covered. Adjust your citation style through the Mendeley site add-on and make, of course, adjustments without leaving your Google Docs document. And once you're inserted all your citations create and created your uh, bibliographies, uh, just take a moment to review your document. Mendeley will ensure accuracy and consistency consistency and making of course your final document a scholarly master piece for you so some of you will say okay but you did not show us anything on how to do it so how can we actually do it so basically for me i will not be able to show you exactly because i have as you can see no library i just created my new account but for you just like lower the just resize of course that let's just do it right there and the other one should be like in here and yeah now what you will have to do is simply drag take whatever uh, like library that you have is it a citation uh, by bibliography just go and drag it to here and it will be dragged to your google docs right away this is if you're using the app if you're using the add-on or extension just click on extension you'll find this right there click on it and you'll be able to drag everything from there into the google docs and yeah basically that's it so as an example even i will not be able to let's just go here click on add a new import like some library i don't know if i'll be able to import some so yeah i don't have any to import even at the moment but of course for you you will have libraries in here so basically just click on your library and drag it into an option right here like as an example we do i don't know let me just open that in here let me just go to pictures and of course you don't see that so let's say as an example i have this one right here so as an example i can just go make it small and drag like pictures from in here to here so you can do the same it just gets back this into here and you can do the same in here so just keep dragging your stuff and you will be good to go so that's going to be it for me today I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.